going on, guys? Um, on the last episode, I told you <laughs> I will be mentioning the Asus Formula 6 Republic of Gamers motherboard and the biggest issue with it. And by now, I've actually decided to make this a dedicated video just concerning that little problem that I'm having with this motherboard. And I may be the first person on Earth to notice this, but I guarantee you I will not be the last. And if you are having that particular motherboard, the Maximus Formula 6, um, you better stay tuned, because this is big. <laughs> So what seems to be the problem, you may ask? Um, the problem is very simple, and eventually you will run into it. Changing the CMOS battery um, is, well, to say it's a little bit of a problem is an understatement. How long will it take on a regular motherboard to change the battery? Like three minutes, maybe five, maybe 10 if you retard it. But Take a wild guess how long it will take you on the Formula 6 motherboard. Take a wild guess. Well, 20 minutes? Half an hour? Let's say an hour. Is that reasonable? Um, no. How about two hours? Will that get the job done? Uh, for the most of us, no. Three hours? Maybe if you're quick. I would say it takes about four hours, maybe even five. It, it depends on, you know, whether or not you're, you're really up, you know, motivated to do it. I'm not. I know it will take me half a day <laughs> to change the battery. And well, as you can figure, the problem is the body armor. That Republic of Gamers armor of the motherboard. Um, the battery is hidden behind the armor and in order to remove it <laughs> shit is ridiculous you have to remove the graphics card remove the water cooling and I mean you have water cooling if you bought one of these boards 90% of you <laughs> who bought that board have water cooling so you need to remove your water cooling. You need to, you know, drain your water cooling. In my case, I have really huge radiators. I need to remove my radiators, possibly some fans, remove the motherboard and get behind the motherboard to remove nine screws in the back of the freaking motherboard to remove the armor in the front of the motherboard to get my hands on the CMOS battery. That's no joke. It's, it's, it's just... I'm speechless at this fucking moment right now. It's beyond anything that I've ever experienced in an entire lifetime of hardware usage. Like, this is... this is bullshit. I've been staring at this problem for the last couple of days and I've just, I was thinking like, it's not true, it's, it, there's gotta be another way, there's gotta be another way. And to top it off, there is nothing in the whole, the, like in the entire manual, <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about, there's like this 200 page manual, look at how thick that is, there is not a single word mentioning on how to remove the armor. Um, they show you just a picture of the battery. They do not show you the model of the battery. Like, I could not find it anywhere. It's, uh, it's 3220. Ah, fuck me. I don't even know. I, I, I did this two days ago, and I'm trying to get this writ out of my head just to not get me even more upset. And I'll tell you why I'm, I'm like, even more upset and how upset I am with this. Um, anyway... They do not mention a single word on how to remove the, the, the body armor. I had to actually watch some video reviews where they showed or mentioned that there are nine screws on the back of the motherboard to remove the body armor. And this is like where I went like, 
fuck me, this is like, this is really happening. I need to remove my entire motherboard from the uh, computer, like from the desktop, to get to the nine screws. <laughs> At this point, you know what I decided? And you gotta understand how upset one person needs to be to spend like 260, 270 euros on a motherboard to void the, uh, the warranty and break the body armor from the front. Because this is essentially what happened. Like I took um, some, some uh, industry scissors and I've cut through the body armor of the front uh, twice to remove the body armor by force and like it's it sounds more than what it is you just make two cuts and peel the body armor basically off remove the battery replace the battery and then just you know that's it like you don't cut the entire body armor off but there is a way I'll show you how you can do it if you're just not up for the bullshit. Like, I have no intentions of... And I just did that. Like, I just reassembled my computer because I was upgrading the water cooling and then my battery died. And I have no intentions of doing the entire fucking process all over again. Like, you know, demount the water cooling? Are you fucking with me? And... Imagine that, imagine that, imagine that you purchased that custom built system and you have no idea on what you're doing with the computer, like how to build it, how to rebuild it. Imagine yourself with that problem and you have no idea how to go about it and you bring it to a technician and you tell them, well, replace the battery, please. <laughs> they will charge you like 300 bucks just to replace a battery. Do you understand the ridiculousness of this problem? And it's, you know, what upsets me most is that it was so easy to solve the problem. They could have, you know, left out a hole or left out a space to peel something off from the body armor as I, you know, created myself now. But it's just, it's bullshit. I cannot believe that uh, nobody mentions this anywhere. Not Linus on Tech Tips, not that pretty bitch from Tasty PC or whatever. Nobody seems to mention that. And it's because, I mean, it's obviously, obviously they did not even, you know, discover that problem because you don't think of that kind of shit. Like I've opened my PC 10,000 times. I've never uh, came across like even remotely of thinking that, this would be ever a problem, the fucking body armor. Um, I don't know, it's killing me. It's, it's upsetting me so much that I've decided to never buy Asus again. All my products, like as much as possible, I always bought from Asus, from Corsair. Never gonna do that again. Never fucking ever. Never. You know how, <laughs> you know how upset you gotta be to cut into such expensive hardware and to purposely void your own uh, the, your own guarantee warranty, to actually do that, you know, to actually fucking do that to yourself and to your hardware, just to you know avoid the the bigger picture, you know, of like demounting my entire shit. It's unreal. It's really unreal. And so yeah, um, you know, funny as it is. I may be the first person on earth to notice this problem, but I guarantee you, obviously, I'm not the last one. Because if by the time, if you're looking at this video and if you, <laughs> you have actually searched for this problem, then you know that you're fucked, basically. So, uh, yeah. Dear Asus, fuck you very much. And this is all gonna get right back at you. Because by the time people run out of their batteries and they will I mean this is that's that's the beauty about this problem it's not you know whether or not you will get it you will get it the only thing it depends on right now is when you will get it because every motherboard will run out of a battery and yours will too so if you have a motherboard 
Formula 6, congratulations. Count your time and decide for yourself already what are you gonna do with it once the battery runs out. And of course they used like some cheap ass new Kang, I don't know, fucked up battery, Chinese battery that is just not, you know, living long enough. So I've replaced it now with the uh, Energizer battery and hopefully I will not have to deal with this problem anytime soon. But even if I do, I have a door now in my body armor. All right, guys, that's about it for this episode. Um, as I said, I just wanted to make this dedicated just to this topic and we'll go back to my uh, regular episodes right after this one. Take care. Don't even subscribe. Don't even subscribe on this episode. This is, I have, Asus, fuck you. Really, fuck, fuck you.